Hello, Bill. Did you have a nice nap? I couldn't sleep. I'm sorry to hear that. I'll come down. What's going on? Hmm? You saw you kissed Susan? Yes, I saw you, Susan. Well, you're at the wrong place at the wrong time with the wrong woman. I'll be the judge of that. I'm her father. With all due respect, Bill, I'm not asking your permission. Are you goddamn my son! You walk into my life, you give me the worst news a guy can get. You have me dancing on heads and pins with my business, with my family, and now you're spooning with my daughter. Spooning? Yes! And stop repeating everything I say and turning it into a question. Spooning, fooling around, and God knows what. Oh, you arrive on the scene. Why you picked me? I still don't understand. I chose you for your verve, your excellence, and your ability to instruct. You've lived a first-rate life, and I find it eminently usable. What do you want? Hmm? Everybody wants something, Joe. You've been taking me from pillar to post here, yeah? and uh, I thought I knew who you were, and it wasn't a whole lot of fun. It was almost bearable. Now I'm getting something else from you, something very, very strange. What is it you want? I'm only living the parish by words. Looking for that ounce of excitement, that whisper of a thrill, but there's no sense living your life without. You know what I mean, Bill? <laughs> You're violating the laws of the universe. This universe? Any universe that exists or ever existed. You may be the pro, Joe, but I know who you are, and you're all fucked up. I don't like your tone, and I don't like your references. And I don't give a shit. Perhaps it's time to remind you, this is not simply a dispute with the putative suitor. This is me. So be careful, Bill. Cut all that bill crap out, you son of a bitch. I'll say it again. Be careful, Bill. Can I help you? Excuse me. Can I help you? <clears throat> yes. Dr. Parrish, please. She comes on at six. Why are you looking for Joe? Love, passion, obsession. All those things that you told me to wait for. Well, they've arrived. This is crazy. Why? A man shows up, almost never leaves your side. You, you clearly trust him, depend on him. So why aren't those things good enough for me? I don't know anything about Joe. What are you afraid of, Dad? That I'll fall head over heels for Joe? Well, I have. Just like you did with Mom, and isn't that what you've always wanted for me? Susan? I don't think Joe's gonna be with us long. Where's he going? I don't know. I can't say. Come on. The guy's working with you. You always know chapter and verse about everyone who's working with you. In this case, I can't. I... I only would tell you that with Joe, you're on... 
very, very dangerous ground. I love him. I don't care if you love him. I'm telling you. Joe's no good for you. Of course not, Daddy. I'm sorry. I love you, too. 